Welcome back. This is like my fourth try of this um, game is working. So but I finally have got it working. Um, so I'm going to go through everything of how to do this. I do have, um, by accident, or I thought it would work, I got the community version. Or it's called uh, Visual Studio 2013. Right? It's the free version. No, it's like the new version of Antic. You don't want that. You want the express version. So you want this version. Um, even though it looks like, oh, it'll work, it doesn't work because there's really no program like this that's been built for it. All right. So what you want to do to download this is go, you can just type down Visual Studio 2013 Express Download. Right, kind of like this. So I'll show you. So you just get Visual like this. Click here. Uh, go down to for Windows Desktop, you don't want just for Windows because that's for Windows applications. It's Windows Desktop, it's five gigs or it's like more like eight gigs. And then you click here, and then you click here. You should download it. I've already got it installed and everything because it's quite a big install. Um, next what you want to do is we just want to find the proper one, this one and this one. So next what you want to do is we want to, uh, you want to download this and install it. Okay. Next you want to get this and you want to download zip. Uh my version, I'm going to open up the zip, you want to drag the zip folder, not the actual zip, but what's inside the zip, this folder here, and drag this folder into here, then you want to open this up and go this one here, the one that has a little C sharp sign, and that's community version, so we go make sure we close this, um, open with Yep. There we go. So now we open up and then we click debug to release, press start, and you're done. Then we go to bin, release, and this is your file tree that this one here is here. The rest don't well the rest should be there, but so now we want to do is we want to go edit. We, then we want to go preferences, external, and then yours should look like this. And then you want to click browse, find your folder, uh, wherever it is, which is, should be right about here. And then we want to click bin, release the first one. Then you went into this line here, which is like speech marks, dollar sign, file in brackets, speech marks, dollar sign, line in brackets, 2013. This is the version of Express you're using. This is why it doesn't work with anything else. It will work, but it won't give you the line that is broken, which is the most annoying thing. And you may think, oh, I'll be fine, I'll get the newer version. It doesn't really give you much to compensate <laughs> literally having no line support so it's like oh I max up some code it tells me which line but especially in this I'll show you in a second but then we use your sync and it's opening up the wrong one but guys especially when you're here if you look here and go void or whatever you know you can do all that stuff it's working for me because I have um, Community Edition installed. I'm going to uninstall in a second. Um, but not on camera. Um, that's why it's working out. But you should be syncing and then it should fully work without having that community pop up. Um, but yeah, and then you should have this here. And then what you need to do is. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is that community doesn't give you line support. So if I have a. It's an integer cow and a string moo and I go void startup 
and then I go int is equal to cow which I oh, say uh, cow is equal to me Um, in, in line endings, you can edit by going advanced format document, and that will fix all the line endings. But there's a problem here, so I can click this, and it'll bring me to the line. So, um, the reason that it doesn't seem like a big problem is because you go, oh well, I mean, if it says line twelve, I can go, oh well, oh, but there's no lines. If you have lines, I can understand why you maybe want to use community. Do you just saying to get this nice little thing? You go tools options general under environment I think all these things so um for those who go oh, maybe it'll be fine but especially when you have um end of start function I had a few commands that were very similar Th by that I mean there were two commands there were totally different commands but they both seemed like they could break so I looked at them and I'm like oh one's the one of them is broken so I tried to run for like an hour and I could never get it working, and it should have worked. And then I went, oh, maybe it's the other one, and it was. And it was so annoying because I spelled it wrong. And it was one of those things where if you're right line, it would show you, and you go, okay, this one's wrong. Oh, because I spelled it wrong. Or uh, i got to try to go fix this. You know? So that is really annoying, and you really need lines. I mean, if you somehow can get numbers down here, then you should be fine. I couldn't find how to get numbers. So like, I don't know, maybe can you go, like line maybe, regardless, I can't find any, but you know, maybe you can get line numbers, but you just type that like line. Oh, you can get line numbers. Okay, I, I can now see with line numbers why someone may want to move community, but it's still such a hassle because you still have to find the right line line, line number. Blah. So I still don't suggest it. And I still suggest that you just use Express. It's easier, there's a lot more support for it, and it's just a much easier program, right? So that's how you'd use it. And let me just delete my testing before I finish up the episode. Um, yeah, so you have to sync every time you start a new project, otherwise there'll be like an issue come up, a bad command. It's only once, once per project. Because whenever you start a new project, you just press sync, and it just syncs everything up and you have no more problems. And just develop some files that it can access to actually be able to do stuff. It's a little bit more of a hassle, but it's still quite easy. Um, that was a pretty fast video, actually most of mine went down to like 20 minutes. Um, thanks guys so much for watching.